Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very special Scenic Group webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an Industry Relations Specialist here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Scott Moore. Scott has returned to his roots in the travel industry as Regional Sales Director for the Southeast for Scenic Group, after spending 20 years with the Walt Disney Company, with the last 15 being in the corporate sector. Scott was also a travel agency leader, so he understands the retail side of the industry as well. Scott earned his CTC in 1995 and continues his quest for learning, which now includes the amazing wonder of river cruising. And with that, take it away, Scott. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for uh, taking some time out to um, learn about the Scenic Group today. I always like to start off with a little trivia. I was looking up trivia last night on what happened in, in the world, in the country today, or in the world today, and um, on the 4th of February, and I found in 1789, the first U.S. Electoral College chose George Washington as president and John Adams as vice president. I thought that was really interesting when I was watching the, the Iowa caucuses last night, and, and um, they weren't having trouble getting the reporting out there. Um, also, in 1924 was the first Winter Olympics, which is a now a major event. But back then, it was just called the International Winter Sports Week. And then something all dear to all of our lives, um, in 2004, Mark Zuckerberg launched Facebook from his Harvard dormitory room. So that's amazing how that has grown. Anyway, so there's a little trivia for uh, February 4th. So I want to start out with the scenic group. Again, my name is Scott Moore, the regional sales director in the Southeast, and I represent uh, scenic luxury cruises and tours and Emerald Waterways. And we're going to talk about something brand new, Stop the Press. We're so excited about this. Um, we are introducing Emerald Yacht Cruises. Um, that's going to provide intimate experiences and exotic destinations. So this was just announced um, Saturday in Austra Friday night in Australia, Saturday here. And then we'll take you through our first vessel called the Emerald Azure. Beautiful, isn't she? Uh, she will have an obs observation lounge, a sky bar, the pool, cafe, terrace, a marine platform that will have zodiac and marine to tools, and of course the, um, the the reflection restaurant and horizon bar and grill, just like on our on our water, um, a river waterway. The Azure has been custom designed to cruise the waters of the Adriatic coast the Red Sea, the Mediterranean, offering guests an intimate boutique yachting experience. The yacht will call on multiple ports and harbors in Greece, Italy, Croatia, Montenegro, France, Turkey, Cyrus, Malta, Spain, Israel, Jordan, and Egypt. So in the style of a super yacht, it features that marina platform you can see here that'll have like paddle boarding and snorkeling, also has three tenders and two zodiacs for shore landings. And of course, it has the onboard wellness center with the gym and the spa. So very, very neat. Um, this is what the Horizon Bar and Lounge looks like. So again, very clean cut, modern line, like all, all of our ships. Uh, this is the Reflections Restaurant. Uh, this is the terrace outside the, the um, Reflections Restaurant. This is the Pool Cafe. Um, and this is the Affinity Pool that's on the back. So quite beautiful. Um, and this is the Sky Deck and Pool and spa pool that's on the top where you'll be able to get drinks and, and bites to eat as well. The observation lounge is in the front of the ship, along with the gym and the wellness area. This is what the staterooms look like. So again, very clean cut, very modern feel to it. That's the ocean view stateroom. This is the balcony stateroom. Uh, the terrace suite. You can see the terrace suite on the outside. Again, your own private yacht almost. And then this is the owner suite and what that balcony um, area looks like as well. It will have unique access to intimate ports and stunning locations. So this is a map. This is what's so exciting. Um, it will do the Adriatic, uh, which we have uh, two um, small yachts doing that in 2019, 2020, which we'll talk about. And then it will go to the Western Mediterranean, the Eastern Mediterranean, but we'll also go to the Red Sea. So it's going to go to some very unique uh, destinations that um, that haven't been able to be to bigger ships, and it'll be obviously the brand new, the neatest ship in the market. So you can kind of see what the itineraries there are. 
when the lines go through. So very, very cool. That's our 2021 and 2022. Uh, she sailed, um, her inaugural sailing is July of 2021, and she's actually already being built. She's being built in Vietnam, and the seal was cut back in December. So we're very excited about that. In keeping with the other um, inclusive pricing of the Emerald Waterways, it's going to include, um, you know, a la carte dining at dinner, breakfast, and lunch. Um, it'll have um, wine and beer with, with uh, lunch and dinner. All the onboard gratuities, the transfers to and from the airport, the port charges, and all the shore experiences, including Emerald Plus cultural experiences and Emerald Active excursions. So we'll have Discover More, um, which are some optional excursions that um, are additional costs that you can tailor the experience. So it'll be just like a uh, river, but it will be on the ocean. So we're very excited about Emerald Yacht Cruises. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Emerald Waterways. And Emerald Waterways is our um, award-winning deluxe river cruise brand. Um, it started in existence in 2014. We recently just won Cruise Critics five years in a row the best value river line um, on the rivers in Europe. So um, we also have um, exceptional, Emerald exceptional value. So again, like we just talked about the Emerald yacht, all the airport transfers to and from the ship, all the meals on board, complimentary wine and beer, tea and coffee, bottled water, excursion included almost every day and um, every cruise day, complimentary bikes, listening devices, and then we have Emerald Plus, and Emerald Active, which we're going to talk about. And we also have what we call the River Cruise Cover. We have that both for Scenic and Emerald, and it is if the experience is affected by low waters or bridges or locks or whatever it might be, and we're unable to operate um, the experience um, like we planned, not go to the places that uh, we said we were going to go to, there is a monetary compensation that comes back to the guests based on the category that they booked. And also with Emerald, uh, we do include all shipboard and shoreside and gratuities, and this is very different than their, our competitive set, which is uh, normally uh, Viking and Ama and um, Avalon. So we do include uh, gratuities. And I'll show you a little comparison sheet towards the end. So we have um, the Emerald Harmony, which is our newest ship, which is in Southeast Asia. We'll talk about that. The Emerald Liberté is in France, the south of France, and the Radiance is in Portugal. And then the Destiny Sun, Dawn Star, and Sky are all in the Rhine, Mine, and Daniel rivers. So all started from 2014. So this is where we cruise. These are the rivers. You can kind of see what we just uh, talked about. And this is what the interior looks like on Emerald. So again, it's very clean cut, very modern feel to it. This is the reception area. And then for those that have to have an atrium, we do have a mezzanine atrium on board the ship. It's three stories. Um, it had, it is um, small, it is a river ship, um, but that's there. We also have the terrace, this is outside, so you'll, you'll kind of get a feel of what the, um, the, the, itiner the feel of the ship, the interior. Life on board the ship uh, is kind of a picture together, and then we'll talk about Reflections Restaurants and Terrace. So that's the name of our, our restaurant on board that you'd have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we have a sun deck. Now, this one's a little different. This is the um, Radiance. This is the pool, the ship in Portugal. It's much smaller. It's only 112 guests. And the pool's on the top deck because there aren't bridges um, like there are in the other rivers in Europe. And the weather's always nice in Portugal. Portugal and the Douro River is a very um, up-and-coming destination. We have a wellness area and a spa on board. Uh, there are additional costs for those. And then this is what's really unique. So this is our heated pool. So the reason that we did this, it's all about innovation. And that's the scenic group. We've innovated, we're, owned, we're an Australian company that markets in um, Australia, Canada, UK in the last six years in the US. Um, our owner, Glenn, is all about um, innovation. And this is one of the innovations that um, nobody else has that, that we've done, which is great. So the pool is the retractable roof, the glass side, it's on the third deck in the back. Um, and then the evening, it um, the floor comes up and it turns into a cinema. So you can get some popcorn. Um, you can, you know, watch a movie. There's a bar in there. So if there's a sporting event or something like that, then you can utilize that for well. Also, if you have a if you have a group on board and you want to do something in the afternoon, have something private. A lot of times we use a space for that. But the big thing is it gives 
the guests another option besides the lounge to go to an evening if they wanted to go and watch a movie or just have a relaxing time around uh, in that back in that area. Again, the radiance, you saw that, that's the one pool that's different. Okay, this is what the accommodations are like. So this is a one bedroom suite, suite, owner suite. We have four of these. If you notice all the things that are included in it, and if you look over to the right, you can see how the, the balcony system is. So we call those the outdoor open air balcony on, on um, Emerald Waterways. On Scenic, we call it the um, Scenic Sun Lounge, which you'll see. But the idea is that you take your space and you put it inside your um, suite or your stateroom, and then that way you can utilize that space, but you still have the drop down window so you can enjoy the, the cool breeze and you can adjust it however you want to do that. And so on the owner suite, you can see there's a, there's a separation there. Then we move to the next category, which is the grand balcony suite. So there's eight of those. So kind of the same concept, just a little bit smaller. Um, and you can see on the left side the things that we include in, in these suites, laundry and, and um, room service and complimentary mini bar and so forth. And then this is the Pamarana balcony suite. So this is the majority of board. There's 60 of those from 160 square feet to 180 square feet. Um, does have the drop down window. You can see what that looks like. Of course, Wi Fi, water is all included, complimentary robes and slippers, um, so forth. And then this is the Emerald Stateroom. So the Emerald Stateroom is the, there's 18 of these on the Rhine Mine and Danube ship. So in, in um, the Rhine Mine and Danube, a ship can only be 433 feet long and four decks high. So it's really how many staterooms, how many guests you put on. So in those markets, Emerald a guest count is 182. Um, we do have 18 of these, these Emerald staterooms, and two of those are always single occupancy with no single supplement. So always single occupancy with no single supplement. So keep that in mind. Okay, Emerald Plus. So um, I usually ask this question. I, I, I can't ask you, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I can't hear your response back, but um, I grew up on the coast of um, Alabama, southern Alabama, and spent a lot of time in New Orleans, and there's a word in New Orleans called lanyap, and lanyap means a little something extra, and I feel like when I went on my first Emerald Plus experience, uh, my first one was coffee and cake with a local Slovakian family, and what we did is we went on a motor coach about um, outside the city, uh, about 20 of us, and we went to this um, lovely lady's home. She was a teacher, and she talked about what it was like to grow up in that village for 30 years through an interpreter, and we had coffee and cake in her backyard. So there's a lot of these fun Emerald Plus, which are very culturally immersive experience. We'll also have those on our Emerald Yacht product as well. Then a new one for 2019, you know, river cruises continue to get younger demographic, um, Emerald especially, and we put on an activity manager. And the activity manager organizes all the activity programs on board from trivia to card games, to, um, to activities such as canoeing on the Duro, hiking, biking, um, cycling, uh, and so forth. So it, it makes it very active. So we have an activity manager along with the cruise director on all the Emerald ships. So that's something new for us. Okay, we do have Discover More. So Discover More are some optional excursions that you can do that are additional cost um, so that you can take advantage of. Now we sail these the, the world's rivers. We're of course in Europe on the left side, on the right side the Mekong, the Nile, and in Egypt, and then we're also in Russia. So the Emerald Harmony, I told you that was our newest ship um, that came out uh, in August 30th of uh, 2019. Uh, it is one of the unique features of it is that if you've been to Southeast Asia, it actually um, sails into Ho Chi Minh City and you can dock there, which is very very unusual. Uh, which a wonderful itinerary. Um, the Emerald Harmony has 84 guests, uh, has um, 42 cabins, of course, and you can see the atrium look to it. So again, very sleek, very modern feel to it. You can see the pictures across the, the board there. Lots of wood, um, wood, wood feeling to it. And these are the categories. So this is the owner's one bedroom suite. So you can see um, how large that is and how nice. Um, this is the Grand Balcony. So this is going to be the majority of the, uh, excuse me, this is, this is one, one, one up from the majority, but you can see it has the double balcony with the, with the drop-down window you can see there. This is the majority. This is the Pamarana Balcony Suite, so this is the majority of the accommodations. 
<clears throat> on board. And you can see, again, a lot of the things that we have on the river ships, we have on this as well. So a lot of things are consistent. Okay, so that's Europe. That's with Emerald Waterways. Again, you know, the Rhine, Mine, Danube, uh, Portugal, and, and, and uh, south of France. <clears throat> we're in Southeast Asia, which we would do in Vietnam and Cambodia. And then we're also in Egypt and Jordan. And Egypt and Jordan is a growing product. We don't own the ship there. It's a Moven Pick owned. Um, it's 142 guests, but you spend about four days doing a Nile cruise, and then the rest is either um, a shorter land in Egypt, or you could have a longer land in Ad Jordan as well. This is what it looks like on the interior. And then launching in 2020, we actually did this in 2019. We started this, and this is the Croatian coast. And we launched, uh, we did two yachts. There are 36 guests and um, 18, 18 cabins. So actually what Scenic does and what Glenn does is he'll charter ships in a certain market and then he'll go in and figure out, okay, how do I do it better? And this is a market that we did that. And then this is the result of Emerald Yacht Cruises. These were very popular. People said we love the smaller, we want to go in the smaller ports and harbors and we want to experience the destination more. So that's the reason for the Emerald Azura as well. <clears throat> These are the itineraries. So this is the eight days Pearls of North Dalmatian. And again, the, em the Emerald of Zero will be doing a lot of these. And then this is the Island of Dalmatian, the other itinerary. And then you can do excursions. You can do a four day, you can, or you can do an eight day. So you can add on to it, um, which makes it nice as well. Okay, so Emerald, just to kind of sum up Emerald, I know it's a lot in there. So, so Emerald, the Emerald brand, both, both Emerald Yacht and Emerald Waterways, um, are going to have almost be fully inclusive. The only thing that is not is um, um, spirits and wine and beer all day long, which you can do a drink package for that if you choose. You do have them uh, wine and beer with, with lunch and dinner. Uh, there are some additional tours you can purchase. And then um, the spa and the, the um, you know, any kind of salon treatment would be additional. Other than that, everything is included, including, again, transfers, port charges, um, all your taxes and your gratuities, both on the ship and when you're in port, which is a really nice feature because, you know, when you take a tour in, um, in Europe somewhere and you kind of get off, you've had a great day and, um, the, there's the there's the guide and there's the motor coach driver. It's always kind of awkward. Who do you you know who do you uh, give gratuities to and how much and so forth. With Emerald and with Scenic, that's all taken care of. So think of the Emerald brand. I always like to think of it kind of like a W hotel. It's a little cutting edge. It's a little bit different. It's a little boutique feel to it. Um, and a, and, a, and it's a it's a really um, if you if you haven't investigated and you haven't had uh, clients that sail on board, it's it's a it's a, a hidden gem. Okay, so now we're going to explore the scenic route. So scenic started uh, their ships in uh, 2009, 2008, 2009. We have eight ships on the Rhine, Mine, and Danube. We have three in France, one in Portugal. The one in Russia we'll talk about, it's a little different. And then we have two in Southeast Asia. So we call them the spaceships because remember I told you that um, when you go on the Rhine, Mine, and Danube, the ships can only be 433 feet long and four decks high. And so it's really about how much space you have on board. So the more luxury lines will have more space, which means the accommodations are larger and there's more options on board. Okay. <clears throat> so the onboard experience. So there, this is the scenic crystal. So you can kind of see what that looks like and see the way the balconies are set up. Again, set up just like on Emerald Waterways. And with Scenic, we're truly all-inclusive. So it isn't like you go to some all-inclusive resorts and like, yeah, that restaurant's not part of it, or yes, I know you want that particular beverage, but that's not part of it. This is what's included. So with Scenic, everything is, in, is included across the board, um, in, including even laundry, and we'll talk about that. Um, but so this is where we sail. So I love maps. This is in our brochure. And if you um, are not familiar and have not seen one of our brochures, this is a, a great way to even tell your potential clients if they're not familiar with 
river cruising. So if you look at Amsterdam um, down to um, Nuremberg or down to Basel, Switzerland, that's the Rhine. That's eight days normally. Um, Nuremberg down to Budapest is eight days normally, or you can do the whole enchilada for 15 days, which is Amsterdam down to Budapest. And then you can actually go down to the Eastern Caribbean, the lower, the lower Danube or Eastern Caribbean, Eastern Europe, excuse me. I'm thinking Caribbean. Um, river ships in, in the Caribbean would not be a good idea. Um, then we have the south of France over here, and then we have the Bordeaux region, and then we have the Seine River and and uh, from Paris to the beaches of Normandy. I just did the Seine River vacation. Um, my wife and I did in August. And one thing that I learned to be, to be aware of um, is that the size of the ship determines where it docks in Paris. And also, if you're going to the beaches of Normandy, where does the ship dock? Um, scenic, the Scenic Gym is custom built for this river and for this market, and it goes into a floor, which is absolutely beautiful. You have to go in at high tide, and it's the closest to the beaches of Normandy. The other ships dock um, on the other side of the river in La Pave or Rion, so you might want to just, you know, kind of just be aware of that. And then Portugal, um, you can see down on the left, the Dora River, we're the only um, company that built, owns, and operates their own ships in Portugal at this point. Uh, the the um, the scenic ship is 96 guests, and the emerald ship is 112 guests. And there were also the two itineraries in Southeast Asia and Russia. So that's kind of our map. Okay, on scenic, this is what the reception area looks like. Again, it's very uh, modern, very clean cut. Scenic will its competitive set will um, be with um, Uniworld, but will have a very different look and feel than um, Uniworld does as well. It's trying to tell me, okay, there we go. Um, and this is the Crystal Dining Room. So this is uh, where you would have uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which again, very elegant. Uh, this is the River Cafe All Day Dining. So this is where you would have your ca casual breakfast and lunch, or you can come in the afternoon and get some gelato or some sweets or so forth. So this is a place that always has a bite to eat for you. This is Portobello's and Lemoore. So this is the specialty dining. I always like to say this is the specialty dining without the specialty price tag at the end. Um, this is uh, gonna be, uh, you're gonna be invited, your butler's gonna arrange your um, reservation once or twice during your cruise, depending on the length of your cruise. And this is a customized menu, a, a nice uh, leisurely experience as well. And then the diamond deck, uh, we have a, the table of reef, which is for, um, our Diamond Deck guest, it's really kind of like a chef table out, not in the kitchen or the galley, but actually out in the dining room. And it's a six course meal. So that's a nice addition to as well for your Diamond Deck guests. Okay, tailor made. So this is, a, this is, let me go back. This is an older picture. We still have this device, but now it's on an app as of this year. And it's designed for scenic. It's a GPS held device with 720 points of interest and 230 tours. So it's really, it provides your tour information while you're in port, but also gives you the freedom to roam. So if you want to take the e-bikes out, and we have e-bikes on Scenic, and I told you it was truly all-inclusive, you don't even have to pedal. We'll pedal for you, just push the button. Um, you can take this out on the, on take the e-bikes out, take your tailor-made, and press the button, it knows where you are, and you can have a tour of whatever city you're in. Hey, you find yourself in a pub, and you have a few 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 beers or a few glasses of wine in a winery and you're like, wow, where am I? I need to get back to the ship. You push the button and knows where you are, tells you how to get back to the ship. So, but also when you're in your suite um, and you're on the river and you're, you're going down the river and you're seeing these castles or these different um, uh, points of interest and you wonder what it is, you um, can press the TaylorMade and it will know where you are and it will tell you where, uh, where you are and, and what you're seeing, which is really, really nice. Um, I, a funny story, my personal story is that my wife and I were on this on the Rhine River and she wanted to take a nap and I went up, up stairs and came back down and I had been out there just like this picture of this gentleman um, out there listening and to what I was, we were going by and, and um, I asked her, I said, you know, honey, how was your nap? And she said it was great for the first 15 minutes and then um, some man started talking to me and it wasn't you. So I had left it on and it, picked up whatever we were seeing so funny story okay <clears throat> we also have a wellness center on board so you can get a massage now that is an additional cost and a hair salon would be additional cost and then this is something new that we put on the ships our two print ships 
um, in 2018. In 2019, we put them on all the ships except for the scenic gym, which will be on in 2020. But it's a salt room, and the idea is that it's supposed to make you feel better. Um, I've never been in one, but um, I've, I've talked to a lot of people that have. And this is part of the wellness center, so this isn't part of the spa. It doesn't cost. There's no additional cost. It's fully included on board the ship. And then we do have the fitness center um, for those who want to do that. And then we have laundry service. I told you that we were all inclusive, so everyone gets um, at least a big bag of three pounds. It takes about three pounds of laundry. I can usually shove four pounds in there, but. Um, and then if you're in a suite, you get additional laundry that you can use as well. But that's a nice extra that you can tell your clients, hey, you don't have to pack as much because you can, you can, you, they'll take care of your laundry on board. And this is the Scenic Sun Lounge. Again, we pioneered this concept um, of the glassed-in balconies, and it's really like a solarium feel as well. Um, some of our competitors have followed suit both on the river and on the ocean, but we were the first to have this. And then another first force, another innovation is called Scenic Culinary. So we did this um, on the French ship in um, south, the, the south of France in Bordeaux, where guests can go out with the chef and, chef and they can shop and then they can come back and make their dinner. So this is very popular well, especially in those regions. And then Scenic Free Choice. So Scenic is a 35-year-old company. We've only been in the U.S. market about uh, six years, but our uh, sort of bread and butter, if you will, is our escorted touring. We do 800 uh, departures in 66 countries around the world. And um, I feel like that's our strong point. People say, what, what is Scenic's, you know, what puts you apart from everyone else? And I think it's the way that we do our, our tour programs. This is Scenic Free Choice. This is Schomburg Palace in um, Vienna. But there are um, typically from two to four options that you can take advantage of on each, on each port. And then we have what we call Scenic um, enrich and these are our one um, one of these on each of the crews where uh, you go and it's a, it's an exclusive event that nobody else is a part of this is the one in um, Palace Lichtenstein um, in Vienna which has the second largest art collection private art collection in the world I'll give you trivia the person who has the number one art collection private in the world is Queen Elizabeth of course she has everything she's like Barbie um, and if you've been watching the Crown series, my wife got me watching that, and it's really fascinating. Um, but anyway, you go in, you have a lovely reception, um, champagne, Prosecco reception, and then you go in and you have the classical concert, uh, and you have the dancers and the singers. It's a really, really elegant um, evening as well, and we have different ones on each of the cruises. Okay, this is what it looks like. So this is the, this is the standard stateroom the, on the bottom category there. This is the Pam Miranda. So this is what the majority of the categories look on board the ship. And then when you move up, this is what the standard uh, bathroom is like. We have all Locks of 10 products on board. Everybody smells really good. Uh, this is the junior suite. We move up to the royal suite. You can see the separate seating area. Then the royal Pam Miranda suite. Those are, those are in the, the after the ship. So very, very spacious. And this is what the bathrooms would look like. Okay, and again, we have butler service on all categories, so that's that's standard for us. Okay, Southeast Asia, real quick, we have two ships, the Mekon, two purpose-built ships for that market. This is the 44 guests. This is 68 guests on the Mekon, the Spirit. We're also in Egypt. Uh, this is a charter. This is not our ship, but we do that. And then Russia, we do have the newest ship in the marketplace. Um, it's just scenic guests on board, but it is not a scenic ship. It's owned by the Russian government. So you can do 15-day or 18-day itineraries there. Okay, we, in 2018, we were picked as um, the river partner for National Geographic. So it's everything that scenic does, and it overlays National Geographic on top of it. These are the different photographers and lectures that will be on board as well. And there's about one of these per itinerary. This is a separate brochure that details these as well. This is on our website. Everyone loves this. This is our River Cruise Com Company comparison. This is done by River Cruise Advisor, not by Scenic. But if you look on the left side, it will tell you what the brands are. And across the top, it will tell you what the inclusions are. Uh, this is great when you're, um, you've got an ocean cruiser who's never done a river cruise and is maybe not fully aware of what's included in an ocean cruise versus a river cruise. You know, simple things like bottled water and, and internet and and for us, airport transfers and uh, gratuities and 
um, tours and specialty dining and port charges and all those things. So this is a great tool. And you can find it on our uh, Scenic or Ember Waterways um, travel agent uh, portal, travel advisor portal. Okay, we're going to switch gears here. So this was our big news and uh, still is our big news, but this was in August. This is the Scenic Eclipse, the world's first discovery yacht. We call it the new benchmark in ultra luxury cruising. Um, this is my picture. Um, I actually, this ship came in to New York on September the 10th to be, it's an, um, to be christened that day. And I actually got to go out on a photography boat, which was amazing. Seeing Manhattan wake up um, in the morning. Um, and the, we played the New York, New York song and so forth. And the ship actually was, it sailed was so sick it, it sailed by us and we had to our boat had to catch up with it because the captain didn't have all the lights on until we got up to the statue of liberty so as you can see this is um a, a, a stock a, um, photo and this is the vision so this is glenn um our owner um was to build a billionaire yacht for those who are not billionaires uh, he wanted to deliver uh to our guests experience that few would have on a mega yacht places that people hadn't done with, with toys and ways to do it that nobody else had done. And of course, do it in safety and comfort. So we've created a whole new category um, of luxury expedition cruising. We call it discovery. It's where luxury meets expedition or discovery and where safety meets sustainability. So that's what the ship looks like. Uh, it has 114 brand of suites eight uh, lounges and bars, two helicopters, a submarine, 10 dining experiences, and it's a polar class six, which means it's one down from being an icebreaker, but you can see how gorgeous it is. So again, like Scenic River, it's truly all-inclusive. These are all the things that are included. You have your Scenic Discovery, you have your Scenic en Enrich, your free choice. Um, the only thing that is additional cost is your salon or a massage uh, treatment, spa treatment or the helicopters and the submarines. And that's really for capacity. And it's not overly expensive. It's, I think, the helicopters in the 400 range for 30 minutes. Um, so it's uh, very reasonable. Okay, this is the day that we christened it on September the 10th. It was christened by ha Helen Marin. Um, and this is uh, Glenn and his wife, Karen, that are next to it. And then, of course, the captain. I'm not quite sure who the other two people are. I think they're from the Port Authority, but it was a, it was a lovely day. And this is Helen. She was very elegant. And um, she was just recently on the Golden Globes and was nominated for a movie. But she did not win, but um, I was cheering for her. Um, but this is when she broke the champagne bottle. This is one of the helicopters on board, so very quiet um, helicopter. Uh, this is a submarine. And this is the lounge. So the ship is 80, has 80,000 square tons per guest, so it's very large. This is the main lounge, very high ceiling. This is the whiskey bar, you can see over there. Um, it has 110 whiskeys, and these bottles are on um, magnets, so they don't move. I would recommend trying all of them, but um, it's quite, quite fun. This is the theater where you would see, um, uh, you know, first-run movies, or you would see, have lectures or so forth. There's very, very comfy seats. Um, it does not, the Scenic Eclipse does not have a casino. It's not about big shows. It's, you know, it's a very intimate. Um, it has, I didn't say this, it's um, 228 guests and 200 in the polar regions. This is the observationary lounge. This is on the very front of the ship. One of the things that's unique about this lounge, it has no plugs in here. And the reason why is so that everyone is paying attention to what they're looking at outside instead of being on their phone. Um, again, this is there's a library and tea, tea area here. This is the spa. There's a men's and ladies side. Um, there's of course no cost to use the spa. You don't have to have a treatment um, unless you choose to. Uh, these are the heated seats with the Bowie speakers. This is the workout area. There's also a, um, a yoga and Pilates studio. This is the discovery room. So this is where you have your park as if you're doing the uh, polar regions, the Arctic and Antarctic, and you, you each get a pol uh, park. It. This is the discovery team that will lead you on your discoveries. And this is the open bridge. So we have an open bridge policy. So you can go up at any time if you're a guest on board and see what's, what's happening from the bridge. And these are the combinations. So I told you we have 114 brand of suites. This is the smallest. This is 345. Uh, then we go up to the spa suites and the 500. This is another view of it. This is your in your spa tub. 
Uh, this is the owner's penthouse that was 2,100 square feet, and there's two of these. This is the um, where you can have your meals if you choose. This is the bedroom. Again, you can see the drop-down window, so you can have a little bit of air in your bedroom if you like. Um, and this is the um, owner's penthouse. This is the bathroom. So quite beautiful. And dining aboard the Eclipse is from casual to fine experiences. So for 228 guests, there are um, nine different dining venues. So this is Element. So this is the main one, if you will. Um, and again, you'll see um, very, very chic, very clean look to it. This is the chef's table. So this is a 14 course meal. I repeat that 14 course meal. Um, and this is, you can see the gouge. So this is, this is the one restaurant that is invitation only by your loyalty our loyalty guest and sweet guest. Uh, this is our, our um, Asian restaurant. So there's three different restaurants in here. You can see there. And then this is the Lumiere. So this is our French champagne bar. There's 12 champagnes you can choose. This is a seven course uh, meal. There's 44 seats in this restaurant. This is Azure, so this is our um, casual breakfast and lunch, and there's a big outside deck there that goes with it. And this is also casual lunch um, and breakfast. This is the yacht club with the pool in the back. The pool is enclosed. Um, you can't really tell that here, but it is, um, so that you can utilize. It has a retractable roof and stuff, but you can utilize that when you're in the polar region. And this is Epicurus, so this is the cooking school. Again, this is everything's all included. Um, these are 12 cooking stations. Um, and then this is very interesting. So it's the world's first zero speed stabilized cruise ship. So it usually a ship has to be moving six to eight knots to be able to, um, for the stabilizers to work. The scenic eclipse doesn't have to be moving at all. It's zero speed stabilized. Um, and again, that's part of the safety with uh, sustainability so you don't have to drop anchor. Um, it has a dynamic positioning system so it has the bow thruster. So don't know how it all works, but it can stay still. Um, and you don't have to drop anchor. This is where it'll go. So um, it started out in Reykjavik in Iceland. It, we did the in August, August 15th. It did the Canadian Maritimes, came down the east coast of the U.S. and down um, through Peru down to the Antarctic. I'll do uh, 11 sailings in Antarctic, go back over to Europe, then back up to the Arctic, and then back across the Northwest Passage over to Nome, Alaska, and then come down the west coast of the U.S. So it's always on, on the move. These are some just different itineraries. So eight day itinerary here, Mediterranean. Um, you know, this is the people always want the price point. So it tells you, you know, when this came out, the eight day was starting at, um, you know, 5,400 per person. Again, including everything. Uh, this is the Med in Scotland, 10 day. Another one. Then we get up to the Arctic and the fjords. So uh, this is a 15 day and 11 day. Um, Arctic in depth. And then it'll do the Americas. Again, like I said, it'll come down the West Coast, America, and then down to um, Colombia and um, Ecuador and Peru. And so there are some different links. So they're all different links, nine days up to that 15 days. And when you get in Arctic, it's either 13 days or 20 days. So the different different itineraries. The discovery team in, Anna, in the Antarctic in the polar regions, we'll have anywhere from 18 to 22 people on board that will be um, ensuring your experiences. You'll be out in the Zodiac. That's why it has 200 guests so that everyone can make a landing in one day. Um, there's a great group called Scenic Eclipse Cruisers on Facebook. Um, it's, not, it's not powered by Scenic, uh, but it has some wonderful pictures of people, um, especially down in the Antarctic now. One of the pictures was the ship just pulled right up to an ice shelf and people got off and walked right on the ice. It's amazing. Okay, this is in Europe and the Mediterranean. Again, this is really going to be like Scenic River. It's going to be about the experience. When it goes in these destinations, it's not about going in for just, you know, a half a day and then pulling out and, and opening up the casino and getting the shops going. Well, because it doesn't have a casino and has one little small shop. So it's really about the experience of where you're going. This is the Americas. Um, you can see what those different itineraries are. And we're going to, you know, the top reasons to sell scenic eclipse. You know, we say, again, as I said earlier, combine, combines luxury with discovery. Um, it is a yacht size feel to it. Um, it's got some unique toys the helicopters, the submarine, the zodiacs, the kayaks, 
And again, it has the latest in safety technology and sustainability. And of course, luxury all inclusive. You know, we're very, uh, we're very tickled that, um, you know, flattery is, or imitation is the best form of flattery. Our competitors, um, Seaborn and Crystal and all Silver Seas, they're building ships that will, that will up the luxury and be able to do the same expedition. But we were the first, the scene of the eclipse was the first in the water. Okay, when you book um, a scenic cruise or an Ember Waterways cruise, you get a point. So we have a little, you can do, you can do a little shopping. You're automatically, um, you're automatically enrolled. So think about that. And then groups. We love groups, of course. Um, this is just, a, you know, group commission started 15%. And um, we've got uh, Dave and Troy would love to talk to you about groups. So um, we also have some great promotions uh, through through uh, March for both Emerald and Scenic that include fly, fly free or a discount. You get kind of two different things. On the Scenic Eclipse, there's some itineraries that include business class air. So there's a lot of different things out there to really make it a fun, all-inclusive uh, product for you. So to kind of sum up Scenic River, the Scenic River, obviously, it's a competitive set. You can look at the comparison chart. It's going to be a Uniworld Talking Crystal. Um, it's going to be that for that guest that really wants lots of choices and everything all included. And then the Scenic Eclipse, obviously, it's, it's nobody, there's nothing out there like it, but it's really about the experience. It's luxury uh, with discovery. So um, with that, I'd love to take some questions. I think Anna is keeping up with those. Anna? Sure, we do have some questions coming in. Our first one is from Sheena, who is wondering if you can speak to accommodations for special needs guests. So wheelchairs, food allergies, gluten-free guests, autism, all of that. That's a great question. Um, as far as food allergies, um, you know, we when you fill out the personalizer, uh, which gives us a lot of your information, you would tell us about that. But that's not a problem. Um, um, as far as... Um, you know, wheelchairs on board the ship, there is elevators on both Scenic and Emerald. They do not go to the top deck and the, the sun deck. And at times you have to, you know, you may be docked where you have to cross another ship and go across the sun deck. So, you know, they need to be aware of that. We also do say that, you know, the guest needs to be able to get on and off the ship, you know, on their own or have someone to help them with it. If they do have a wheelchair, they're, um, they would have to leave it um, parked underneath the stairs in the hallway. It won't fit in their their room. We do have one sort of handicap that's a little bit larger, but just to be aware. Also in Europe, just to be aware too, is you know, there's the ADA laws don't apply there and there's lots of cobblestone streets. So, so guests just have to, to understand that. Okay, got it. Thank you. Um, I know that you just mentioned this, but Alex is wondering if you could delve a little bit deeper into your group's policies. So the groups are um, on the river, there are uh, five staterooms, so nine guests in your tent as a tour conductor. We also give a uh, group amenity points. Um, depending on the sailing, uh, they could be anywhere from additional commissions. They could be amenities on board for your, for your group. They could be um, accelerated tour conductors and so forth. So we're very competitive on groups. We love groups, and Dave and Troy would love to talk to you about it. Perfect. And it looks like this will be our last question from Michelle. How do travel agents go about finding their Scenic Group BDM? So if you go on our website, either scenic, um, US, um, scenicusa.com or emeraldwaterways.com, and you go to the, I think it's, you go up to the left, you go up to the um, travel portal, and you click on that, and then there's a sales, like sales tools, I think it is, and you click on that, and then you'll see all of our beautiful pictures, all of our mug shots and um, what territories they represent and their email, their contact information, and all that. So we'd, we'd certainly love, love to talk with you. The one thing I'd love to just kind of wrap up with on river cruising is that, um, you know, there's a great opportunity to, for your clients who have maybe done Love Europe and they've done some motor coach and they'd like to see a different part of Europe in a different way. Um, obviously it's, you know, you, you sort of your hotel room, if you will, travels with you. But it's really about cultural immersion and what you're seeing and doing. You know, the ocean ships in Europe, you know, they go around the outside, obviously, and there's some bigger cities and ports. But a lot of things are, they have to go interior. And when you're on a river cruise, you're actually going through the heart of Europe, the heart of the cultural experiences. And I think you have the opportunity to really, because you're in smaller groups, to interact more with the local culture. 
Uh, the second part of that is too, if you've got ocean cruisers who've never um, been on a river cruise and they really want to do something different, you just need to make sure you sort of you take the time to get them to understand the differences. You know what to expect on board, what to expect on shore, and what the what the overall experience is going to be, and especially the financial. Um, you know, investment in the beginning because I've had consumers, I've done a lot of consumer shows in the last month and I've consumers say, wow, River Cruise is much more experienced than a Caribbean cruise. I said, that's correct, but this is what you're getting. So you're, you know, on a River Cruise, you're not paying for water and, and specialty dining and, and gratuities and tours and um, internet and all the things that you would typically pay on the big, the big brands in the Caribbean. So you just would take the time to explain that to them. It's a growing a demographic and it actually keeps getting younger every year. Okay, got it. And that wraps up everything. Thank you so much, Scott, for all of the information and thank you everyone for joining us. Wonderful. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Bye now. Bye.